Okay, today I'm going to cover something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how to connect to a Cisco device via the console port using Microsoft um, HyperTerminal. Okay, and for those who don't know, HyperTerminal is a terminal emulation program that was bundled with Microsoft Windows operating system. I say was because the last two versions um, being Vista and um, Windows 7 no longer have HyperTerminal bundled with them. For you old school fools, you might remember HyperTerminal as a program that you used to set up dial-up connections to connect to the internet back in the battle days of the uh, mid to late 90s. Presumably everybody now has a broadband connection and that's probably why Windows stopped bundling this program. What we're going to use it for today is to connect to the console cable of a Cisco device. So this is a, this is a job that you would normally use, whatever your favorite terminal emulator is, if it's TerraTerm Pro, Secure CRT, Putty, whatever. In other words, you normally wouldn't use Hyper Terminal unless you absolutely had to. And sometimes that comes up, like uh, for me right now, I'm uh, in a location where I don't have internet access and I'm using a laptop that does not have my favorite terminal emulator loaded. Luckily I'm running Windows XP so I do have Hyper Terminal bundled in there. So I can use Hyper Terminal to connect to the router that's sitting to the right of me right now via its console cable. And you know, why you may not end up in this situation, why you still might want to watch this is because you might have a situation where you have to walk a remote user through connecting to the console port of a Cisco device and Hyper Terminal might be the only application that's uh, available for them. So it is good to know how to, to use this for that function. Okay, so let's go ahead and launch Hyper Terminal. To do this, you go to Start All Programs, um, up to Accessories, and you're looking for Communications. I don't know why it's down here. And there's that bad boy. And you can launch it from there. And it will give you the default terminal emulation option. I chose No. And Cancel. We'll and I'll cancel out of all this. Okay, so I canceled out of that. The reason I stopped the, the recording is because, unfortunately, Hyper Terminal, once you launch that, you have to click on a bunch of crap to kill it out. The reason I stopped it was I did want to show you that if you don't find this in your accessories, if it's been moved around, you have an odd implementation of Windows, which you can always do if you don't see it there and you want to launch it. If it's on your system, if you click Start, go to Run, and then type Hyper Term, T-R, M, of course, it's I spelled that right, I hope so. So, hyper TRM, hit OK, and that will launch it. And here we go at the beginning here. It's going to ask you if you want to make it your default terminal emulation program. I don't, and I really don't want it to ask me that again, so I'm going to go ahead and click no. And let me drag this down here so you can see it. First screen you're going to get is your location information. Just go ahead and cancel that. Windows is going to bitch and moan about this and keep popping this up, but this is for if you were using it to create a dial connection, which we're not. And when it gives you this confirm cancel, hit yes. Yes, thank you very much. I told you it was going to fucking nag the hell out of you here. Okay, and now we've got a connection description. We're just going to call this uh, Cisco Console Hyper Term, whatever. And you can go ahead and hit OK if you want to choose an icon. Actually, hey, look at that. Does that not match my packet lab motif? Here we go. Double click that. Well, single click, I guess. Okay, this is an old ass program, so hit OK. And look at this. Here's our friend location information. One more time. Gonna cancel. It's gonna bitch. Yeah, thank you. And here's where we wanna be connect to. And now we're gonna bypass all the phone number bullshit and we're going to connect using. COM port 1 and basically there's only two uh, options here is COM port 1 and then if you were going to connect via an IP address you would use TCP IP but we're just going to connect to the console port of our Cisco device using COM port 1 so we can hit OK. Now here we go. This is the important bit. So you're going to want to probably commit these to memory but by default if you haven't change the speed on any of the lines, uh, particularly in this case the console line, you're going to want to hit bits per second to 9600. Uh, data bits at 8 is fine. Parity and none is fine. Stop bits 1 is fine. Uh, flow control I always just set to none. And so, like I said, you're probably going to want to memorize this going forward because this is going to be your standard COM port setup uh, with Cisco devices. So 9600, 8, none one and none. So you really have to make sure that this is 9600. That's the only change we really had to make. And then flow control I just set to none. 
to be honest I don't know if hardware or um, Exxon XOF would affect this and we can go ahead and hit apply okay and now we're in our hyper terminal connection okay and so now we should be connected to the 2800 that I have here booyah and I am connected via the console port and that's about it from here you can just use it like any other terminal emulator uh, you may want to play around with it just to see you know some of the stuff like cut and paste I believe cut and paste is kind of odd here no you just highlight copy and right click to paste to host okay and really that's all we're going to go over today um, I will do one other quick thing here if you want to save this out so you don't have to go through configuring all that garbage again go ahead to click on file save as if you click save it'll do pretty much the same thing except it saves it to a, uh, to a folder called hyper terminal I always click save as if you click save it will do the same thing but just put it here and you'll have to dig for this folder uh, desktop is usually where I like to put this give it a name let's go console hyper term save it so now if I close out of that yes I want to and then I go to my desktop and I'll just drag this down and and so it created this icon so we can just go double click that anytime that you want to get into the hyper terminal session that we just configured and windows shares a talking motherfucker in it okay uh, we'll have to cancel this out and go through this irritating step but here we are back in there again and that's it and basically like i said you're probably not going to use this it's not the best choice for a terminal emulator but if you have no other options it is good to know how to set this up to connect via the console port I'll throw those uh, COM port settings into the lesson notes for this, but otherwise we're done. Thanks once again for joining me in the Packet Lab. As always, I hope this has been beneficial, and I hope to see you back here soon.